drop grenades on your enemies using deployed or existing drones with Drone Grenadier, a new script adapted and written by Radigear. Today I have a little mission I set up to demonstrate this script I'm going to show you guys. And I have a UAV operator, an ammo box with grenades, and two drones that we could use. I want to show you a release thread that I put together, so let's go to BI Forms. Here we are on BI Forms, and this is Drone Grenadier. This is a script written by Rydagear. So what is Drone Grenadier? This is a script that will give you the ability to drop grenades from a drone you deploy or an existing drone with an inventory. You can add as many as RGO or RGN grenades a drone can carry and drop them anywhere. So the basic features of this are you could deploy an existing drone. So if you have a drone on your backpack, then you could deploy it. And as long as it has grenades, you can drop those grenades with the drone. For existing drones, all you need to do is add grenades to their inventory. And then you could also drop grenades from those drones. There are other functions. I'll let you guys read that. Let's go down to the installation setup. So step one, number one is to create a notepad, notepad++ document and copy and paste the following code in it. Is I'm going to start up a notepad document. And then all you need to do is copy this code right here. Just highlight it all down to the very end here. And then press control C and go back to your notepad. Make sure your cursor is blinking and press control V and that will paste the code. Once you have the code pasted, go to file and then down to where it says save as. You'll get this window that will pop up. And before you save it, go to save as type and click on that box and go to where it says all files. Now in the file name box, click that box so you get a cursor that's blinking. And what you're going to do is you're going to name it init.sqf. Make sure that is correct. What you're going to do is you're going to locate your mission folder. So we're going to have to locate my missions. So I'm going to go to missions. And the mission I have in the editor currently for this is Stratus. And this mission is called Drone Grenadier. So once you see the mission SQM, then just hit save and that will add the script to your mission. You can close that. Here is the basic usage, which I will go over when we look at the script. So let's get back into the mission and I'm going to show you guys how this all works. It's going in the mission and I'm going to show you how the deployment works. All right. So if we deploy a drone, symbol UAV bag. So we have a drone. And what we need to do is connect the terminal to, to the UAV and then take the UAV controls. So currently with this script, if you scroll your action menu, you're not going to see anything. So this drone is not going to be able to drop grenades. So let's add a grenade to it. Let's add actually a couple more. And there you go. So if we connect to the UAV again, you scroll your action menu and you'll see that it says drop grenade. So I've got some enemies in the distance there. Let's go drop some grenades on them. So how do we use these existing drones? Because these existing drones, even if you added grenades to them, they will not work. Only deployed drones will have the automatic function. For existing ones, you have to give them a name. So what we're going to do is we're going to name these drones. So I'm just going to name this one D1. 
hit OK. And I'm going to name this one D2, D for drone. And that's all you have to do is just name them. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the script itself. I'll save this real quick. I'll go into the script itself and I'll show you the script. So let's go to Scenario tab at the top and then down to Open Scenario Folder. All right, here we are in the Drone Grenadier Mission Folder. And this is the folder we saved the script to. So let's open up the script. So at the top of the script, it says Drone Grenadier by Ride Gear and Gunter Servalo. For existing drones, what you're going to do is you're going to go to this line right here. This is a comment. It basically says drones to be used as bombers at mission start, for example. And this gives the example of what the parameter is. So RYD BD drones and basically you just give it a name and separate each name with a comma. So in this box we named our drones D1 and D2 so all you do is put D1 comma and D2 and that's all you need to do for that that will make the existing drones in your mission have the option to drop grenades. Now if we scroll down a little bit in the action menu this is the drone add action that shows up in your action menu. This word right here is what shows up in your action menu. Now if you wanted to have it just say drop or say something else, drop bomb, what have you, then you could change this to what you want and only this. Now if you wanted to change the color, you could just change this number right here with what's called a hex number. Let's scroll down and we're going to go down to this line here, color of the text for the drop grenades and counter. So right here is the hex number, as I was saying, and you can change this to what you want. But first, before we start changing the color, let's go into the mission. Let's save, our, save the script a second. And let's go back into the mission and test out the existing drones. The existing drones here are named accordingly. And if we connect the terminal to the UAV and then open the UAV terminal, you're going to have the option to choose either drone that you want. Just like that. So we're going to choose this one. And... Go to control driver click on that and if you scroll your action menu for the drone you're not going to see drop grenade or anything showing up like i said before it works just like the, the automatic deployed one so we're going to release the controls and what we need to do is we're going to add a grenade to it and reconnect it And now you should see drop grenade. So just a note, every time you drop a grenade, you're going to get that counter left. If there's no grenades, just say grenade, no grenades left. Let's go back to the script and I'm going to show you guys how to change the color. If we go to where it says drone add action line and we have color so this like I said this is the number that you want to change and I'm gonna give you guys a link to a website you can go to so we're gonna to go to this website here our RGB color tables chart now with this you could choose whatever color that you want you could put colors together you could even choose from this graph and whatever color you decide to use you basically go to this number here and it'll give you this number. That's the number that you're going to use. If you wanted colors that are already preset with numbers, then you can go to this part here, RGB color table. So basically all you need to do is go to the hex code here, this column, and choose the color that you want from the left. And then take this number, we're going to choose yellow. And all you got to do is just copy that and then go back to the script and right here just actually just copy the number itself number in the letters and press control V that will change the number make sure there's no double uh, number sign and we'll scroll down again 
and we'll change the color to this here too. So now this color should be yellow. So we'll save that. We'll go back into the mission. All right, back in the mission. Let's grab some grenades from the ammo box. And let's deploy our drone. And let's add some grenades to it. And deploy it. We're going to connect the connect terminal to UAV. And then take UAV controls, scroll your action menu, and now you can see drop grenade. Now if we add to connect to terminal, open UAV terminal, make sure we choose the correct UAV, which is that one, take control, and now we have drop grenade in yellow. So let's check it out. Alright guys, hope you liked that, hope you find this useful. I will link the Drone Grenadier release thread in the description of the video so you can get the script and set it up for your own missions. And I will also link the RGB color codes chart and table here in the description of the video.